Welcome to Trove News, a regular news forum which brings interesting stories from the world of oil and gas. It's early October 2019 and the eyes of the oil and gas exploration world are focused on places such as Guyana with Tullo's recent successes at Jethro and Joe and also in the Eastern Mediterranean. Today we want to take a look at one area which is getting a lot of attention offshore Cyprus and it's a really really intriguing story. If we take a look at the map of offshore Cyprus we can see that Cyprus is surrounded by a number of nation states who make claim to the maritime areas. Not all of these boundaries have been ratified between countries. We can see the number of recent discoveries that have been made in this region amounting to over 65 TCF of gas. In February 2019, ExxonMobil made a world-class discovery at Glaucus in Block 10. This is the latest of a number of significant gas discoveries. The oil and gas industry is used to seeing formal license rounds announced by host governments and a period of time for technical assessment and submission of bids by international EMP companies. However, Turkey has not signed up to the most recent version of the UN Convention of the Laws of the Sea, the one that grants island states such as Cyprus an economic exclusion zone. There were reports in 2018 of Turkish warships interfering with seismic vessels and indeed with ENI's planned drilling of the Cuttlefish Well to the east of Cyprus. In mid-June 2019, the Turkish drill ship, the Fati, sputtered a well in waters considered part of Cyprus's exclusive economic zone to the west of the island. It was joined a couple of weeks later by a second drill ship, the Yavuz, drilling in Cypriot territorial waters to the east of the island. Well over a year of planning must have gone into this coordinated drilling campaign but little information is currently available. These wells were reported to be 100 to 120 day wells and expected to complete in October to November 2019. By earliest October, the Yavuz well was completed. The location of these wells are very significant. They're targeting areas and drilled to date, firmly wildcat category. If we quickly look at the geology of this region and on this map here, you can see the basins that are described in and around offshore Cyprus and the recent wells that have been drilled in the area are indicated with some gas discoveries made to the east of the Latakia trough. The Karpas 1 well is obviously targeting this particular trend to see if it can extend the petroleum system. The Finicky well is still drilling at the time of recording this video and is targeting the major thrust belt to the west of Cyprus. In September 2019, Cyprus announced the award of Block 7 to a consortium with uh, Total and ENI. Just a few weeks later, it was announced that the drill ship Yavuz, operated by TPAO, had arrived within the recently awarded Block 7 and was preparing to commence drilling as indicated on the map. It remains to be seen what actions get taken. The implication for the petroleum resources of the region by these Turkish playovers is vast, with Lebanon in the process of licensing acreage and Israel having completed a successful second licensing round, this region is likely to see significant further activity. With eyes of the world currently focused on the border dispute with Syria in the east, attention is perhaps not as focused on what's happening offshore Cyprus. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video today. We hope you found it interesting. There'll be details in the comments below uh, where to find additional information. Also, <clears throat> there'll be a link to our website at www.firstsom.com where you can actually look and find more information about our Trove database products, which cover details on all the wells and all the discoveries and fields that have been drilled in and around the Eastern Mediterranean. 
look forward to seeing you again thanks for watching bye for now